Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. 2023 Gold Rush Shoebox Collection Baseball Edition. Three box break, random team break number one. 30 total hits, 10 hits per box. So who knows what we can get out of here. Pretty nice checklist here. Um, also, if we run into an issue where they're in their college gear or their minor league gear, I don't know how common that's going to be, but if that happens, we'll default to the checklist first. If there's no checklist, then we'll go by our no checklist rules. Active players will go to the team they're currently on. Uh, retired players will go to the team they played for the longest per baseballreference.com. Big thanks to this crew for making it happen. Congrats to the people who won their spots in that Fanatics Under Wraps break. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams one out of five, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see down to Jason. Five, uh, one out of five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we've got the uh, Angels. All the way down to the fighting Phils, the Phillies. I'm trailing my Dodgers by four runs here. All right, Steve, you got the Angels. Chris with the Yankees. Scott with the Mets. Jim with the Royals. Ed with the Nationals. Nicole with the Orioles. Steve with the Brewers. Tristan with the Tigers. Adam with my Dodgers. Barry with the Astros. Michael with the White Sox. Jonathan with the Guardians. Steve Locke with the Padres. Uh, Austin with the Reds, Eugene with the A's and Cardinals, Jared with the Rangers, Victor with the Marlins, Scott with the Giants, Jason with the Cubs, Jason Kirsch with the Rockies, Aaron with the Red Sox, Tristan with the Diamondbacks, David with the Twins, Tristan with the Rays, Steve with the Pirates, Joseph K with the Braves, Chris with the Blue Jays, and Jason K with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, let's sort by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so the list is now officially printed out. Remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for watching, for breaking with us, for joining the action. There it is. All right. And here are the three shoe boxes that we're going to do. So each box... has 10 items per box. Nice, good design on here. Now, got the Gold Rush sticker right there, so let's pop this baby open. Let's see what we got. all sorts of fun stuff in here. All right, let's just go from the top. And we've got a cut auto. Well, not a cut auto, but just a, a check. Joe Sewell, authentic autograph. Often they use stuff like this for cut autos. Cut those out. What do you think he was getting? He, he wrote a check, kids that are watching, this is how people used to pay for things. They would, there were no debit cards. If they didn't have cash, you could write a check. Joe Sewell wrote a check for $3.13. What does that say? The, the pure, the pure oil company? It's paying for gas? Yeah, that's what they did in the 60s, Gilo. They wrote $3 checks. Uh, I think Joe Sewell played most of his career with uh, the, the Tribe. Or was he a Red Sox? No, he, he spent 11 seasons with the Cleveland Indians at the time. 
from 1920 to 1930, and then finished his career with a few seasons with the Yankees. And so that'll be for Jonathan. Cleveland, this is for you. All right. Next is Next is a baseball. Ed Howard. Ed Howard the 4th. Ed Howard, I think, is a Cub, right? Yeah, he's that 21-year-old Cubs prospect. That's going to go to Jason Parker and the Cubbies. Some nice penmanship there for, for a kid. Show the, how about the jersey? Juan Soto. That's pretty nice. Nice. So obviously, Nationals colors. It's like it's a it's a custom jersey, so not officially licensed. You got the JSA card and the sticker and all that stuff there. That'll be for Ed P in the Nats. some cards. And you got Nolan Arenado, 9 out of 15, Cardinals edition. Going to Eugene. Ooh, nice Steve Carlton, 24 out of 25, dual relic and autograph from Sterling. That's for Jason K in the Phillies. Nice Rhino, 22 out of 50, Jason with the Cubs. And a couple graded cards. Ooh, Frank Thomas. Authentic Auto. Trust me, she'll like this too. White Sox, Michael. And a PSA 10. Fernando Tatis Jr. on his rookie card. Steve Locke with the Padres. So what else? We got a mini helmet and a photo here for the Pirates. We got Matt uh, Laval Lavalier. Got a price on there too. Anyone remember? Any Pirates fans who remember this guy? He played for the Pirates back in the late 80s, early 90s. A gold Glover in 1987. He's proud of that. All right, that's going to be for Steve Locke and Pittsburgh. And the photo is for Cleveland. That is a Shane Bieber, right? Yeah, I think so.
Yeah, that's Shane Bieber's auto. Got all the Beckett stuff right there as well. So that's uh, that's for Cleveland. That'll be for Jonathan. All right, that's the first box. I guess I could put all this stuff back in, the, in that same box. with the next box. I don't know what's happening here. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. All right. Well, let's start off. What's going on here? Let's just start off right from the top. Spencer Howard. Rated Rookie Auto Gold Vinyl, one of one. Phillies, Jason K, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! My Dodgers up 8-1 now on the Phillies, bottom of the fourth. This is cool. Sweet Lou Brock. Postcard, it's kind of hard angle here, but authentic autograph, postcard. There's his facsimile autograph. There's his real autograph in blue. People used to send postcards back in the day. It's a thing. That goes to Eugene and the Cardinals. Got more cards here. How about an Alec Bohm? 15 out of 28. Nice RPA for the Phillies. Jason K, last one mojo. Here's another Rhino, 49 out of 50. Jason Parker and the Cubs. And we got a CJ Abrams. Nice. Gem Mint 10, auto grade Gem Mint 10. Another one for Steve Locke. Another Padre for Steve Locke. Nice. All right, we got. Adrian Beltre, nice. He's got some great penmanship. Number stamp on the ball. It's pretty cool. All of your authentication right there. And Beltre, of course, played for the Rangers the longest. Yeah, he played for eight seasons with the Rangers. Started his career with my Dodgers. And that will be for Jared. Jared P. and the Rangers. Nice Adrian Beltre. What, future Hall of Famer, I would, I would think. I think there was, it was kind of weird. I think he hit 48 home runs in his last season with the Dodgers. I think there may have been some PED stuff there. Um, then went to Seattle and did okay, but then just really just grinded out of just a bunch of consistent years with the Rangers. Ended up with 3,000 hits, a lifetime 286 average, and almost four, almost 500 home runs, 477. So he'll eventually get in there. Accusations, yeah, accusations. Ooh, this is nice. Can anyone, anyone guess that autograph? Adrian Gonzalez uh, does um, some studio analyst work with the Dodgers here and there. I think post career, I think they, uh, I think he kind of co owned, co managed, and Played for a Mexican League team. Yep. Joe Pizzle's got it. It's Wander Franco for the Rays. So there's all the proper stickers right there. And that is for Tristan in Tampa Bay. Nice.
All right. Oh, a couple jerseys in here. Number 33 for the A's, Jose Canseco. And that will be for Eugene and the Oakland A's. And we got a Mets DeGrom jersey. There's his autograph right there. There's the uh, JSA stuff. Oh, and Joe Pizzle saying that that Wander is a signature debut. Yeah, with the SD. Yeah, it says signature debut right there. Yeah, this item certifies a signature debut and is our is our considered opinion that the item is genuine, signed before the last game of the signer's official rookie season. Nice. All right, so, and Mets, Scott with the Mets. I'm not sure. I think Scott's a, is Scott a Met fan? Yeah, Scott was saying, I got my Met, but I don't know if he wants that to crawl. All right, and final one here is... Yep, we know this guy. Julio Rodriguez for Eugene. All the Beckett stuff right there as well. Oh, you'll take it. Scott will take him. All right. All right, and the third and final Gold Rush shoe box. Man, this was a lot of fun. We don't have any more of this, but this was a lot of fun. It'll take me a, a second to just, uh, it'll take me a second to put all this stuff away, but it's a fun break. Just one Dodger says, Adam. We're not done yet, Adam. Play to the whistle, man. We've got 10 more hits to go. All right, we have, we have another Adrian Beltre. There's all the stickers right there. This and his uh, his name stamp right there. So another one for the Rangers. Another baseball. Oh, we haven't seen this guy yet. Uh, this autograph might be too clean. Anyone tell this autograph right here? Might be able to just read it and figure it out. Where did he play for the longest? Play from 1975 to 1992. 18 year career. Man, even in his age 33 season, about four seasons before he hung it up, was a uh, top 12 in MVP voting a couple seasons before that was top three in MVP voting all-star silver slugger lifetime 267 340 home runs 1800 hits over 1200 walks it's kind of a that 31 year old season where he was a cardinal at 136 walks, 139 strikeouts, an OPS of 1.055. That many walks and strikeouts, wow. G-Lo can't recursive. Really, no one's getting this? It's Jack Clark. Played for the Giants the longest, 10 years with the Giants.
Yeah, Jack the Ripper. All right, that's for Scott and the Giants. Yeah, Jack Clark, Jack the Ripper. It's his nickname. He's killing baseballs, I guess. All right, some cards. Yeah, they're 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 floating on top of uh, another jersey here. And then we got another check. Christian Yelich, eight out of ten, quad relic and autograph. For the Brewers, that'll be for Steve. Solid shot, jersey and autograph. Chipper Jones, chip off the old block. Out of 25, that'll be for Joseph K. and the Braves. We got a Luis Robert autograph. Michael Gabay and the White Sox. And then we've got a authentic autograph. Ken Griffey Jr. Mariners, that's going to be for Eugene. The signed check is, is nice. Stan the Man Musial. What did he pay for? January of 1987, 59.50. Maybe something to, maybe he owed some friend some money. J and K Harding, maybe for dinner or something like that. Here, I'll, I'll write you a check for dinner. James and, and Kathy Harding. Nice Dan Musil. Cardinals. Did he play for the Cardinals his entire career? I want to say yes, right? One of those one of those rare ones. Yeah, played for the Cardinals his entire 22-year career. Hauling? Oh, not Harding, Hauling. All right, so that's what it cost to haul something back in uh, the late 80s. Do you think J&K Hauling is still around, Victor? Yeah, they are. J&K Hauling. On 3328 West Adams Street, St. Charles, Missouri. I'm assuming that's St. Louis area. No Yelp reviews for them. All right. Here's a nice one for the Braves. Acuna Jr., Ronald Acuna Jr. Hit a bomb today for his 220-some-odd homer, homer. Just looks like a, a not a official jersey, but it's an official autograph. For the Braves, that'll be for Joseph K. Got another jersey. Everyone remember this guy? And we got a photo on the bottom here. Some of you old school guys may remember old Rick Dempsey. World Series MVP. I think he was with the Dodgers for a little bit too. Orioles, that's going to be for Nicole. And the last one here is... Is is that blue? Vita blue? And Mike Tower also saying Vita blue. I'm looking up his autograph. Yes, Vita blue, Oakland A's. That's for Eugene. That was a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2023 Gold Rush Shoe, Ball Co Shoe Box Collection. Baseball edition. Three box, random team break number one. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.